Samsung have just announced their latest smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 at the IFA trade show in Berlin. Now Samsung have invited us down to take a closer look at the Note 2 and to check out some of the new features that it offers. But if there's anything specific you want to see, click on the on-screen links now. Be aware that the phones in this video have the same pre-release software that we saw at IFA, so some features may change. Last year's Galaxy Note was hugely popular with consumers and so Samsung are back with a bigger and even better version, the Note 2. As you can see the two devices look very similar. The new Note 2 in white is slightly larger with a bigger 5.5 inch screen as opposed to 5.3 inches on the first Note. But the overall dimensions and weight of the phone has hardly changed. In fact pretty much the only obvious difference is the positioning of the buttons on the side of the device. They're now easier to reach and so it makes the phone a bit easier to use one handed. Inside the phone the processor has increased from a dual core version to a quad core version so that should mean that everything runs smoothly and the battery has also increased in capacity from 2500mAh to 3100mAh and also it's removable so you can always slot in a second charge one if you prefer. In fact it even comes with a dock that lets you charge up that second battery. The new Note 2 will come with either 16 or 32 gigs of internal memory um, and you can add to this with the memory card slot. The phone has an 8 megapixel autofocus camera and can, can capture video in HD. A 4G version of the phone will be available though at the moment we don't know whether it will be compatible with the signal in the UK. And finally on the specs front the phone will run on the latest version of Google's Android operating system Jelly Bean or Android 4.1. Now one thing that really set the Note apart from all the other smartphones on the market was that it comes with a supplied stylus and you can control the device with that or as you would normally with your finger. But this stylus isn't like the old style ones we saw with the first touch screens, it actually gives you access to loads more features. The stylus, or S Pen as Samsung call it, lives in a housing just at the bottom of the phone. I'll just slide it out as such. Now this is a new improved version of the S Pen. The shape has changed a little bit so it's triangular which makes it easier to hold. Sensitivity has also been improved and there's now a rubberized tip at the end. Now this makes it much easier and makes it feel more natural when you're writing on the screen. Now if you've got one of the older styluses you will be able to use it on this phone although it won't fit into the housing here at the bottom. Now one last clever feature of the new Note 2 is that it will recognize if you've removed the stylus and left it behind. So if you leave your stylus on the desk, pick up the phone and start walking away, the phone will bring up an on-screen prompt warning you that you've forgotten your stylus. Now as the phone's name suggests, the stylus is great if you like writing notes. And in fact the phone is clever enough to recognize when you might want to do that. If we take the stylus out of its housing, the phone will automatically bring up the note function. It will also do this if you're on a phone call and you switch to speakerphone allowing you to make any notes or take any messages, although with both those functions you can turn it off if you prefer. A new feature of the S Pen is AirView. Now AirView lets you hover over content to get extra information. So again if we were in the S Planner we could hover over an appointment and it would bring up more information. Or if you've got a list of emails you can scroll through them, hover over them and get more information. And another really clever way of using AirView is on video. So you can hover over a different point of the video to actually get a preview of what's happening there. This all works without ever touching the screen. In fact you can hover the pen up to 10mm over the screen and it'll still work. Another new feature on the phone is Quick Command. Now Quick Command lets you control the phone using gestures of the S Pen. To access Quick Command we just press the button on the S Pen and pull up. This brings up the quick command menu. From here there's two options. You can bring up the different icons such as internet or email or simply just draw them on the screen. So I've drawn the internet. I'm just going to write Google. If it can recognize my handwriting we'll go to the Google page. And there we go. The button on the S Pen can also be used for the new Easy Clip feature. Now what that does is, it lets you circle and capture part of what's on the screen. Then you just select your method of sharing, in this instance I've gone for a text message, and it'll paste what you've cut out into the body. So you can text it to your friends, you can even share images via email or even post them onto Facebook in this way. The Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is equipped with a wide range of camera features, some of which we saw previously on the Samsung Galaxy S3. One of the new camera features is 
best group shot. So we'll open up the camera here. What it does is it takes a burst of five photos in a very short time and then we'll scan through them and find the best picture. Now the S3 had a simpler version of this feature. It could also scan through your photos and find the best picture, but it could only look at one individual at a time. Whereas here we're looking through groups of people, so it's definitely an enhancement. Once you're happy with your photo, you can actually use the S Pen to make a note on it. So we'll open one I took earlier in the gallery, go down to the settings, flip it over and add a note. I'm just going to save it there. And that's great if you want to sort of record where or when you took your photo or any other information. And if you look in your gallery, you'll see that the photo sort of curled over here in the edge, uh, signifying that there's actually a note behind it. And there it is. Now, the new Note 2 is expected to launch in the UK this October. No information just yet on pricing or network availability. Obviously, as soon as it hits the shops, we'll send one to our lab for full testing and we'll publish those results on witch.co.uk. But in the meantime, if you want to read reviews of the original Note, or indeed the flagship Galaxy S3, click on the links below 